Retail can be freed. It can think much bigger and it can be much more creative. And with that simple tweak, Peloton went from being worth nothing seven years ago to being worth $5 billion today. Far from maybe a few years ago where people were talking about the death of physical retail, I don't see that as a trend whatsoever. In fact, a lot of online only brands are actually opening physical spaces. Tomorrow's leading businesses think in a completely different way. They're not concerned with incremental improvements. And in fact, they're happy to question everything. They'll knock everything down in order to build everything up again. This company's products don't even exist. Now, I can't tell you who'd be happier, but what I can say is that Ryan Reynolds, if he was a retailer, would be 60% more profitable. That you have a physical space, you have your e-commerce, your website, you have your app. No one space is at the center. If there is a center point, it's definitely the customer. We aren't building a relationship with our customers enough. We need to see them. We need to talk to them. We need to serve them. When retail becomes this seamless, it basically becomes a commodity. So the future of retail belongs to those who own the relationship, not those who own the most stores. A company's brand is now not really what the company says it is, but what the customer says it is. Customers own the brand. Whereas a traditional supermarket might waste around 35 to 40% of its stock, Farmstead's AI means that can be reduced to just 10%. Alibaba created this global shopping festival. It went on for two weeks. It was basically on TV for an entire two weeks. I can't think of anything worse. Out of those 100 million people that engaged, 10 million people downloaded the app for this festival, just for this event. It's extraordinary, the scale of it. We're seeing customer service completely reimagined. People are being trained differently, they're being recruited differently. They don't actually want to recruit people who are great at sales. They say, we'll work that out later. We can train sales. What we can't train is an interest in our brand. It's a passion for what we do. And if IKEA can change their approach, anyone can. So retail will look less like this and more like this. Thank you very much.